what's up guys it's Aga Shalina and I'm back with another travel vlog so Patrick actually surprised me with this trip he just told me the other day that we're flying to Milan and there's a lot going on here guys so what was I saying Patrick surprised me with this trip he told me the other day that we're flying to Milan that I need to pack my bags I don't know how the hotel looks like I don't know where I'm sitting on a plane I don't know nothing but I'm very excited because I've never been to Milan he has been a couple of times. Okay. Time I go to Milan, it's like I always want to go to Milan, so I feel like now I'm going to take it to Milan. So yeah, to and my it's also Fashion Week, so let's see if we're going to make it to a show or not. <laughs> yes, we have a few surprises, don't we love? It? We have a few surprises, don't we love? It? Oh yes. I didn't know what surprise he was talking about. By the way guys, we didn't sleep really. We had to wake up at 3 a.m. actually and we went to bed at like 1.30. Guys, we just arrived in Milan. Yeah. I know I look crusty right now, yeah? But wait for the glow up. It's coming. I think it's coming today even. We need to get into town because this airport is quite far out. So guys, we just checked in. Finally enough, our apartment wasn't ready, so we checked into another apartment and got ready, uh, freshened up and everything. And now we moved to our apartment. That's why I didn't do a room tour, but I'm gonna show you what Patrick has booked for us. This is our bedroom. And we have our own little wardrobe. So here we have a little living room area. We have a little kitchenette. Now you're probably wondering, where is the bathroom? Would you guys believe me when I say it's in there? Such a cute bathroom. All right, guys, this is my first look for the day. Um, Heaven on this racer bomber, some over the knee boots, my Givenchy bag. So it is given fashion week. Okay, then, Patrick, it full Rick Owen. Full Rick. You know what I'm saying? Well, I can't relate. It's a pretty little thing for me today. <laughs> All right, we're heading out. Hello, guys. The blow up is halfway here. Halfway. I actually also have um, some shades with me that go nicely with the yellow jacket and we're going to a Puma event. The apartment that Patrick picked out is quite black central so anything is just like in 10 minute distance which is amazing so that we can see a lot of things. left the Puma show yes. about you. It was really cool. It was so good. Saw the new collection. It's alright. Yeah, really cute. Left you some gifts. So guys, the fashion show is over. We're back in a hotel. I changed my over-the-knee high heels to sneakers. Minutes. So do all girls do this? I need to close my like, rings. Like, do all girls take their Apple Watch and put it in their handbag? Hello, why you put me on blast? their normal watch just to close their rings. <laughs> me, Please let me know if all girls I'm doing this. so, I'm taking my rings so serious. Sometimes you know an Apple Watch doesn't go with your outfit and you want to wear a different watch. I'm so crazy that I put my Apple Watch in my handbag so it still comes counts my steps and I'm still burning calories um call me crazy call me not crazy 
haven't even walked for like five minutes and we already ended up in a designer outlet. It's so big in here and they have so many designer items for less. Guys, Selena's out here doing fan love. <laughs> we were just literally walking past the, our apartment was just up the road. And this is obviously like where the Armani Hotel and all the celebrities are staying in. So we just seen a crowd of people. And I said, oh, let's go and have a look. <laughs> Guys, that fangirl moment lasted for like a good of 30 seconds. I couldn't be bothered. You know what? That's what I also just noticed. We haven't eaten since like 6 a.m. when we had that porridge. And it's 5.20 now. Patrick actually done a reservation for us tonight at 9 p.m. at a pizza restaurant. And I need something to nibble on. But <laughs> everywhere it's like pizza, pizza, pizza. And I don't want to eat pizza now. Pizza, pizza, like. pizza, pizza, pizza. <laughs> so now look where we ended up. The truth, man. She just want to see what McDonald's is like in Italy. That's all it is. I'm telling you that. I'm not going to deny that. Let's see what they have on the menu. But I just want to have like something something small this is what i ordered like a chicken i think it's like a chicken parmesan wrap and the wings to share and patrick got himself some cheeky fries and a chicken big mac i'm testing out the wrap and what can i say it's really good and i'm giving this a good nine out of ten how are the wings guys mm. chicken wings are coming for kfc <laughs> you nice. have a little spice to them i mean you can see them the color Tour guide today. And obviously, I'm in all this is my first time in Italy in general, and then Milan is really, really beautiful. We're going to the Happy Pizza restaurant where Patrick. Crazy pizza. Oh, crazy pizza. <laughs> it's a 20 minute walk, but I love me a good walk, especially, <laughs> especially when I'm away. Showered, cream, brushed my teeth, makeup off. I'm gonna have my eight hours of sleep that I deserve because <laughs> I basically didn't sleep for 24 hours. We see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. And I had my eight or nine hours of sleep. I am so energized. I am ready for the day. I had 17,000 steps yesterday. Can you guys imagine? Me and Patrick are off to the Dolce & Gabbana showroom. We're looking if we can get some bits and pieces for the show. And yeah, it's just a 10 minute walk from where we're staying. So we're heading out now. This is my outfit of the day. I'm keeping it new and cash. Some pants and a bag. And we're out. Oh, and before I get excited, we actually have to leave now. And guess who I'm waiting for? Once again. One eternity later. There he is, guys. Why weren't you ready on time? I was ready before you. You little liar. Trying on some pieces right now. I love this jacket. Let me show you guys. Yeah, I'm having on denim jacket right now. Bang wow, This yes. looks good. This is perfect on you. Now we're finding an outfit for Patty. So, so I'm gonna check out this look, possibly with this or the white t-shirt. Patrick jeans. really want to wear these jeans, oh, but we don't find so the right bad. top right now. But there's no top for it. <laughs> Tomorrow's the show, so we are very late here on a Friday, yes. so there's not a lot left. And we need to leave. So we have all the fine. looks ready. such a lovely brunch at Luba, which is also in walking distance from our accommodation. Can we just give a round of applause for Patrick for 
picking out the best <laughs> accommodation. Literally everything is like 10-15 minutes by feet and he also done all the reservations. Like the pizza place yesterday was amazing. The brunch was good. Wow. What's next? <laughs> What's going on people? So we're back at Duomo. We're taking a trip up the Duomo Cathedral. I just tripped. So you can see it. Yeah, when you get here you can either go up by stairs or by lift and obviously we picked the lift because we've done so much walking already. Downside of it is the queue is quite long. Show the queue. Yeah. It's my boy for almost like seven, eight years. Oh wow. <laughs> Sitting down, contemplating about what I'm gonna do. Pasta, pizza, uh, couch, or your pepper. Thank you. <laughs> So, we went back to the hotel. Honestly, guys, yes. my legs are aching. Shalina didn't vlog because her leg, you know, she's quite short. So, uh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it has nothing to do with my height. No. The Apple Watch is active. All right, guys. <laughs> Look at it. Look at my wrist. We want to go to a pasta place now. It's like a casual restaurant where they make handmade pasta. We have no reservation. We're just going to walk in. Um, yep. Yeah. Wish us luck. So we're in front of the restaurant and there is a bit of a queue. A bit. Um, but the guy said it's got, only going to take like 20 minutes. I'm looking forward. I already see um, the ladies or the women in All there. All the Italian aunties. Yeah. Rolling, the, rolling out the dough rolling for the, the dough. pasta. It looks amazing. Yes. This is the name of the place, it's Osteria da Fortunata. I'm gonna go to I'm so excited to eat there. I haven't had a carbonara in like, I don't know how long. But everybody said if you need to you have to try the carbonara. So. Yes, we will try. I only had a diet coke. I'm not sure. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that the pasta was so, like, no. honestly, if you're ever in Milan, go there. If you're ever in Italy, Go to Osteria di da Fortunata. Okay, Italiano. <laughs> Let me know in the comments how my Italian lingo is doing. <laughs> ciao, ciao, ciao. A few moments later. Guys, I don't think you understand how tired I am. I just want to go to sleep, but Patrick want to go out, so we are going to go out. I'm wearing just jeans and a bodysuit. Hey, the party dragger. I have to take Auntie out. You know me because I was partying so much I'm tired now. See what is me? <laughs> what is me she don't wanna go? Don't I'm mind it. Always <laughs> Morning guys, it's Saturday. Unfortunately, Milan is very grey outside. Today is the big day, the Dolce & Gabbana fashion show. We are going to the press day of Giuseppe Zanotti afterwards though. And they were so kind to send us some shoes. Unfortunately, we didn't really bring an outfit with us that goes with the shoes. So we decided that we're going to run to Zara now. Hence why I look how I look like this crusty. Yeah, guys, it's raining so bad. And one thing about Milan, it's not as easy as you think to get a cab. It's very hard. Uber doesn't really work here. Quick update. We couldn't get a taxi. So we went back in because it's 12 now and we have to leave in two hours and we don't want to risk to be late to the Dolce & Gabbana fashion show. So we're going to get ready now and organize to be picked up on time for the show. 
guys we're getting ready for the show we have like 15 minutes left to change and leave but i want to show you guys what they actually gave us yesterday as the invitation for the kim deutsche gabbana fashion show it is insane even yesterday when we went into the building for the fittings kim kardashian was actually in the building upstairs planning the show with the team um i am so excited let me show you guys what we have and then change quickly and get out of this building so guys these are all the goodies that i received as an invitation patrick got his own bag so let me show you what's in here i put everything on the table because i feel like it's easier so we have this amazing kim dolce gabbana clot in there was the invitation for the show in a bit and there were some pictures of kim and in here we had a bandana so this is the bandana that was in there and at the back you see the details for the after show party tonight then we have a t-shirt of kim and in here is a big kim kardashian poster now that's what you call an invitation guys so guys we are ready i am obsessed with these pants and i'm wearing the kim dolce there because it just goes with my fit guys these pants are so sick i think they're even men's you know Paddy is also ready. Goody. in from the show and it was insane it was such a sick show but i'm not gonna lie to you it was a struggle to get all the content and also live in the moment we're now changing to go to the press day of giuseppe zanotti and yeah today's a busy day i've also received a nice pair of boots from giuseppe i cannot wait to show you them how cute are these boots i love this transparent detail and obviously the pink sole. Thank you so much to the team for sending these. Patrick also got sent a new pair. It's coming in hot. So we were at the Giuseppe's press today. dress with the bag Guys, I'm in the bathroom right now, about to take my makeup off. It's 3 a.m. now. I actually just wanted to say that the Dolce & Gabbana after show party was insane. It was epic. We had so much fun. And tomorrow Patrick has planned a day trip for us. I think Patrick is honestly doing such a great job with this whole trip and what he has planned for us. Bless him and then i'll see you guys in the morning good morning guys another day i haven't really slept a lot i think only like five or six hours but we just got ready to go to lake como like i said this is my first time in italy and yeah i want to see as much as i can so we're doing the day trip this is my outfit of the day i'm wearing denim on denim i put on this shirt you know it's not for fashion but i don't want to be cold like uber works here but it's very sometimes so it's very hard for anybody to get one
We made it guys in true Shalina and Patrick fashion. We, we are made it two minutes prior to the plot. Okay, all right, we haven't made it yet. We have eight minutes, so we're good. This patisserie looks amazing. Look how cute it looks here. Guys, sorry we forgot to vlog, but it's so fun. Like, we've looking at nice everything. Walk. We've been on a nice walk. So we're trying to figure out where the lake is. Where's the Apple Watch? You didn't bring it? My outdoor walk is being recorded as we speak. Bloody hell, man. The nerves are real. I'm not gonna lie. She's just waiting over there. She don't even know what's going on. Let me show you guys what I've really been up to the past few months. Saying that, oh, you never take me to Milan when you're from oh, Milan, etc. Yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. Next month I'm going to Milan. But she doesn't know yet. This first halo, to keep it like nice, you could have the same size diamonds here as here. And then you've got the slightly bigger ones in the second halo. This is not easy, guys. <laughs> so there's the oh semi my <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. All castle set so really delicate you can see so much of the diamond just amazing <laughs> <laughs> she's actually just gonna love the moment and i think she's gonna appreciate the ring later thank you guys so much because this was absolute pleasure this was great work <laughs> This is so shaky. That's our boat there. So, so shaky. shaky. The walkway, <laughs> like, is jiggly. Gucci seats, okay. So romantic. Yeah, like in Dubai. I also have something else for you. What? <laughs> something that I've been wanting to do. officially got the ring. Oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> Am I a fiance? I know we had a traditional wedding, but I was waiting for the day. I'm getting so emotional. I can't believe it. You deserve it, man. I never cry on camera, you know, but... You deserve it. Wow, guys, um, 
don't even know what to say because <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean <laughs> I was a wife already traditionally but you guys know I wanted a white wedding to come you had a ring before I like, did <laughs> but this ring I didn't want her to wear it exactly um, and you think I lost it but I've been having it for years guys you don't know what he had to do because if he would have told me girl throw your throw a dress on and, <laughs> and some heels I would have known and the whole way I was thinking but this is just a normal trip right it's all oh, why do we have a photographer with us because the photographer was with us yesterday as well for fashion week obviously but so it made sense kind of for him to because you know we like our photos and videos and sometimes we need someone to help us but I was thinking Hmm. Is he gonna like do something? Don't but lie, man. I was didn't have not no expecting idea. it. Oh, you do well, babes. On a boat in Milan, and you guys don't know Italy has a special meaning to us. Um, we're gonna dig deep into that in another video, but there's a reason why it happened here. Guys, we're here at this uh, beautiful, oh sorry, <laughs> we're here at this beautiful lunch spot with a nice view. Even I'm sick to my stomach actually, you know, I'm this type of person when I'm nervous, excited or whatsoever, I, I'm not hungry, but I will have to eat something because it's so cute in here. Back to Varena, Esino, Perledo. Per, Perledo. Perledo. Italians watching this, um, gonna I'm sorry. Us. Anyway, guys, you know when I'm just taking in that, even though I was traditionally married the whole time, but because we never really shouted it from the rooftop, now I feel like I'm really a fiance. <laughs> and <laughs> I mean, that ring, it is so pretty. It suits my hands so much. A few moments later. Guys, no, <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my god. The <sighs> most embarrassing thing that happened to me. The thing with me is, yeah, I don't know what it is. I wear these shoes all the time, but for some reason today I'm stumbling the whole time. I've been saying to Patrick, what is going on? I'm stumbling, I'm stumbling, I'm stumbling. Guys, so we just got frazzled. to the central station, yeah, and there's this big like plaza <laughs> um, and we're walking and I am falling down on all fours <laughs> with two hands. You know when it's... Both knees and both hands. I was like, what? Why this much though? Like, why so excessive the drop? <laughs> Both knees, hands on. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, yeah, you know when it hurts so much, but you have to say cool. You can say because there was like hundreds of hundreds of people around you, so you have to act cool. I said to Patrick, I'm probably, my knees are probably bleeding, but let me let me not check it now because everybody's watching what I'm gonna do. So I acted cool. So I just got up and inside I was crying. So guys, I recovered and we are back in Milan and it's our last evening and I have to go to a supermarket of course you know I have a sweet tooth and my family and his family so we're gonna go in here I know I showed you guys drinks and vegetable and food but I'm here for the snacks. I'm here for the sweet treats. You know, we are in the country of Nutella. These look interesting. I'm gonna get them. Hmm? What did you discover? Macaron. <laughs> macaron. If you're Italian, tell me how my Italian is doing. Oh Just god, you're here. too funny. Chabella. Yeah, I brought this back from Paris and there was some left. And guess who back the rest and was like, yo, I need some. Hmm, of course me. You already know. So guys, we got our snacks ready. We have so much. One for these. For the kids. Brownies. Right? This looks like a bit of me. And then we have these. 
Guys, we just had a bit of a rest and we want to have one last dinner. A bit of pasta, risotto, pizza. We're going to see if we found a restaurant online. Yeah, it's so funny because if you watch my other videos, you will see that I have my hands in my face all the time. I know it looks like I want to show off the ring. <laughs> um, and I don't care. Always comes as a rose, all right? Guys, a beautiful day is coming to an end. I am now a proud, proud fiance slash wife. We're packing now and I am honestly, because today's emotional like a roller coaster. Like I was crying, I was laughing, I was crying, I was happy, I was hungry, I was tired. I was, it was so exciting. Patrick done such a good job. Um, I'm almost done with the packing and then in the morning we're gonna wake up so i'm gonna see you guys then have a good night good morning guys we are ready to leave beautiful milan i have my ring hope you had so much fun watching i mean it was an emotional roller coaster for me this was definitely the most emotional trip of my life yeah make sure to like and subscribe make sure to follow me on all my social media accounts and then we see you guys in my next video bye Guys, I just this came home. Fun. I have to add this to the vlog. My sister sneaked into our house. This is the one. This is what my niece For my favorite. done. Just engaged. <music> Leslie just came over and gave me these beautiful flowers. And look at the cute bag. There are a few gifts in there. I'm not going to share now because they're quite personal. And I sent her this photo of Patrick and me in Milan. And look how cute she is. She already printed that out. I sent this to her like 24 hours ago. Guys, I honestly, I'm going to say goodbye now. Bye.